Well, the long, hot summer continues. And of course, that's meant we've had very low rivers, a lot of heat in the backcountry, my favorite time of getting out there. And here's the reason why. The great big rivers that we have in our local area, and of course, we're uh, reporting from Canterbury, like the Rangitara, the Rakaia, the Huronui, the Waimak, they're all so much smaller. I drove to Hammond the other day and I couldn't believe how tiny the Waiau was. And so you've got all the fish that normally hide up in all the big flow being squeezed down into much smaller areas. And you can treat those big rivers that you normally wouldn't go anywhere near as smaller rivers and do extremely well. And here's the other good news. They haven't had anything like as much pressure as the tributaries get uh, because these fish just don't normally see people. So get yourself out there. It always surprises me how few people get around at this time of year. The bottom line is the dry fly fishing is fantastic so if you're a fly fisherman you'll have a great time uh, if you're going to go out there with spinners soft baits and the like gee it's fantastic fishing to be had i've just had one of my staff members go up and have a fantastic day on the rangatara can't give you too many uh, secrets as to exactly where it was but he complained that he only got 17 fish for the day 17 fish for the day oh that's tough i did want to bo boohoo for him so just get yourself out there and enjoy it. Of course, the lakes are in good condition too because they're warm, the terrestrial insects are out, great for your uh, dry fly fishing. And of course, if you're prepared to get out with your soft baits and so forth, go look for those colder places. Use your spinners a little bit more morning and evening. You'll do better that way. Well, the kawai, but hit and miss. I had someone say to me, oh, there was no fish caught at the WIMAC last night. And we're recording this on Friday, the, uh, what is it, 15th today, uh, Valentine's Day, which is a great day to be out fishing because, you know, that's the thing that all lovers should do because I love fishing. Um, Valentine's Day was great. And I was down the very front of the WIMAC and I must have caught something like about 20 kawai in a very short period of time. And they were small. Now, I was on a fly rod. Well, why would you use a fly rod? Because it's fun. Why would you go for small fish? Because they're fun. Here's something I want to tell you, because this is a really important thing, and I see this over and over again. Often parents want to go down with their kids and get some results, but they're always thinking in terms of fishing this big. Well, let me tell you, I've been out bait fishing, I've been marlin fishing, caught marlin, caught tuna, caught all sorts of bits and pieces. Sometimes I have a lot of fun just catching the bait, which is this big. But in order to catch the small stuff, you need to use appropriate gear. I was surprised to see how many people were casting great big lures, the sort of thing you'd catch salmon with, you know, an ounce and a half, two ounce ticer, uh, hurling it out there, getting no result. Whereas I was using something really small like this, every time I popped that out there, I was getting hits. Was I having fun? Yes. What was everyone else doing? Not having fun. And I've seen that many, many times. Again, like I talk about wharf fishing. We go wharf fishing. You see all the dads and mums, great big hooks, big bit of bait, sticking it over the side, nothing being caught. Go down there with the small stuff. You've got to be size appropriate to have some fun. The guy beside me here was fishing last night. He did really well because he was thinking about what it was that was around. And a lot of people further up the river didn't think a car I was caught. Well, I had lots of fun, and they didn't. Hey, sucks to be you. What the truth? You can't handle the truth. Anyway, that's life. And let's talk about the salmon. You see, the same low rivers that are holding the, um, the, the, the trout from closer water are also holding the salmon back. So there's not so many salmon out there at the moment in the rivers. And that's because it's just too warm. They love cold temperatures. So once the water temperature gets down 17, 16, 15 degrees, they're more likely to run. But when it's too hot, they just stay out there. Now that's good if you can get good sea conditions. So the likes of the Rangitata or the Rakaia or the Opahi or Arari or any of those river mouths, all the way up to the Hurunui, same basic thing happens. I know that when I was right in the throes of uh, having the fantastic salmon fishing we had in the 80s and the 90s, there I am sitting like an old fart. In fact, my cameraman's just rolled his eyes at me because he's saying, oh, here we go again. I remember how good it was back in 1995 when we got all those big fish. Yeah, that is true. But what happens is that when it gets low and clear, it holds the fish in the sea. So then you approach the fish from the sea. No point fishing up the river when they aren't there. If you want to go salmon fishing, the place to be right now is somewhere in the sea where you're casting your big tices and they're milling around. You're casting your tices you're letting it wobble around, you're going to get some results. Well, I know you're going to get a lot of kawai, especially if you're going to go fishing places like the Rangitata or the Rakaia, where there's just black shoals of kawai out there. But keep persisting anyway. It's amazing how many times you can go kawai fishing and they're driving you nuts. And all of a sudden, out will come a salmon. And there's been a bit of that going on this week. I've had a few reports from people who've been out there oh, catching kawai after kawai. Lo and behold, what happens? Out comes a nice 14 or 15 pound salmon looking as shiny and as beautiful as they always do. 
So get yourself out there. Uh, if you are fishing up the river and you know that some have come into that river, and I think probably of all the rivers that the Rakaia is the best of them, take your trout gear out there. Now I've caught many, many salmon on trout and I've got to the stage where when I fish up river, I'd rather have a little soft bait or a wee revolving blade lure like a, a Veltec or some of those others that are out there on the market today and let that just dribble through the pool ultra clear line, you only need eight or nine pound line, especially with the modern reel, which is just so good to be able to use. Just remember this, when you hook it, you've got to have to run. Run, Forrest, run! When you hook them, they want to go downstream and they'll go downstream pretty darn quickly. So you've got to get below them as quick as you can. I've seen people on trout gear, hook them and just stand their ground saying, oh, this is going to come back to me. Well, I've got news for you, good luck. Anyway, let's talk about the canals. The canals have gone a little bit quiet, and that's again for the same reason that we've got all this change fishing condition everywhere else. It's darn warm out there. You stick a thermometer in those canals to see how hot that, that water temperature is. Way, way too hot. So you want to be fishing in the morning. Remember, in the afternoon, the temperatures in the canals are at their hottest. It's just because the sun's been beating down and, and, and heating the whole place up. So when it gets into nighttime or you come first thing in the morning, that's when your cooler uh, water is there and they're more likely to bite. They just get into siesta mode. The males have gone to Spain and sitting back in their nice easy chairs and they just watch your stuff go by whilst they're completely ignoring you. So remember that, don't burn yourself out at the wrong time. Remember the good times are coming, it will get colder and it won't be long before we get fantastic winter fishing. Kingies, oh I love kingies, I can't wait. I am planning a trip to Collingwood because I'm gonna catch kingies on the fly. Do I like doing that? Yes, you better believe it. There is something about kingies that you've got to appreciate. Kingies eat kawai for breakfast. Now I like catching kawai on a fly rod because that's a lot of fun. But when you catch a kingie, you start catching the master of the kawai and that really keeps you uh, engaged, so we, shall we say. Make sure if you're gonna go up there, you get appropriate gear and make sure that if you're gonna be chasing them on a fly, that you've got lots and lots of backing. Otherwise, it's just tears. We don't like those. The Kings have been going pretty well off the peninsula. We've got several people who are going out there chasing them with jet skis and with uh, kayaks and getting great results. They're there, they're there in good numbers. If you have a chance, change what you normally do and give it a bit of a go. See if you can find a friend with a boat and encourage them to get out to some of the better spots. Remember, you're looking for the boys, you're looking for uh, any structure, you're looking for kelp, you're looking for things which is gonna attract uh, the kingies to a particular area. They don't like just open water. They're always associated with some sort of structure. And when you get out there, remember to cast far enough. Use some appropriate gear. It's great fun to catch them on sliders and poppers and some of the um, jigs which are now available. I know that in our store, we've really changed the format of what we have. We have a huge range of really high quality gear designed specifically for you to have good fun on those kingfish because they're just brilliant fun when you get into them. All right, and of course, we've got some surf fishing. The surf fishing's been particularly good. I've had some uh, some of my anglers come in and show me some fantastic pictures, getting me all excited, catching monkey, catching uh, cod, gurnard, and all sorts of things, particularly north of the peninsula. Now, I know that it will fish south of the peninsula as well, but my spies tell me that all the way between here and Kaikoura, there's some pretty good surf fishing to be had. Come in and see us. We'd love to give you some more information on what's going on. If you need to find out how to fish with a lot of these species, remember, we have been doing this for a long period of time. 36 years in the tackle industry has taught me a thing or two. You would go to a doctor because he had 36 years worth of experience and you might know just a thing or two. Well, that's what I'm trying to do, just give you, I want to be your fishing doctor. I'll even write you a prescription saying that you need to get out there and fish more often for your mental health. Come and see us, 484 Cranford Street, or look at us online, completeangler.co.nz. Cheers now.